So if you have upgraded to Windows 11 and still testing out whether Windows 11 is perfect for you or not. Luckily, Microsoft gives you the option to go back to your Windows 10, but this option will be only available for 10 days. Honestly, time flies by if you have a lot of fun. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase the time window of going back into your Windows 10 so you can test your Windows 11 for months ahead and then decide whether to stay on Windows 11 or you can go back to your Windows 10. Now if you head over to this PC and going into local disk C, you can see there is a windows.old folder. This folder stores your old Windows 10 files. If you are recently switched from Windows 10 into 11, for normal users, time is ticking. After 10 days, you can't able to switch back. Right here in the settings, recovery, here is an option to go back to your Windows 10. I feel like there should be at least 2 months or so to test out all of your apps and games whether they properly work in Windows 11 or is there any bug. So you can really concretize your decision. So in order to increase this time window, we are going to open the command prompt as administrator and over here we are going to put one command. Now the command is given in the description below so you can check that out. This is the one right over here. With the help of this command, you can check how much days you have remaining to switch back. So here in my case, I have 10 days remaining. Now the second command we are going to put is gonna decide how many days you want to extend. This is the one right over here. Now here in this command, we have a value. You can decide how many days you want to extend. So I extended for 30 days and checking it again, you can see my uninstalled window is updated to 30 days. How many days can you really extend this? So I tried 365 days and let's see. So operation completed successfully but it did not change to 365. So looks like there is a limitation. You can only extend this window for something like 60 days. In my opinion, 60 days should be enough for you to test out all of the things. Now let me show you how you can go back to your Windows 10. So head over to the settings. Here in the recovery, here you have a go back option. Now clicking on to go back, let's try to switch back to Windows 10. Before we switch back, there is a really important folder in your C drive that is windows.old. If you rename this folder to something else, Windows will never be able to delete this folder and you can really extend your time window by this way. Anyways, moving forward. Now let's go back to Windows 10. Let's put one reason why you are going back. So I'm putting it for tutorial. Then Windows will advise you to just upgrade. If there is a new build available for Windows 11, chances are your issues might be fixed. I have did lots of videos on various Windows 11 related problems and their solutions. So you can check those out as well. Now granted your data and apps will be migrated, but you need to make sure you may still need to reinstall some apps and programs. Also you need to back up your files to make sure you don't lose any data and make sure you know the password before you proceed further. Anyway, let's go back to Windows 10. And here we go. My system is successfully migrated to Windows 10. If this video helped, please do hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.